In this video, we are going to discuss inverse Fourier transform of a signal. So, observe the problem here. Find the inverse Fourier transform of x of omega is equal to omega square plus 21 divided by omega square plus 9. When you observe this Fourier transform, this is Fourier transform of a signal, we need to find out inverse Fourier transform that means signal again. So, here when you observe this transform, this is not in proper manner. So, this is in proper manner, but we need to uh, we need to extend it to strictly proper. I want to convert this proper equation into strictly proper equation. For that, I need to divide. Why? Because here you can see the powers are equal. Power of highest power of denominator is equal to highest power of numerator. But an expression when in, in an expression whenever your denominator power is greater than your numerator power, then only that expression is said to be that ratio is said to be in strictly proper manner. So, here I want to make this equation as strictly proper for that I want to divide. So, like this omega square plus 2 1 21 with omega square plus 9 1 time. So, omega square plus 9. So, this is equal to minus minus if I consider. So, I am getting 12 as my remainder. Then I can write this x of omega as 1 plus 12 by omega square plus 9. So, by using 1 division, I make this equation into strictly proper equation. Now, I, I can apply inverse Fourier transform. So, now I need inverse Fourier transform of x of omega. So, inverse pro, uh, Fourier transform of 1 plus 12 by omega square plus 9 we need to consider. So, see here, so inverse Fourier transform of 1 you know that that is equal to del of t. Why? Because for a del of t any transform if you consider you are going to get 1. So, for 1 any inverse transform will give you del of t. So, inverse Fourier transform of 1 is equal to del of t plus inverse Fourier transform of 12 by omega square plus 9. Again, you need to go for the tablet form I given in one of the videos. So, that means standard Fourier transform pairs. So, when you saw this transform which we need to find out inverse Fourier transform, when you saw this omega domain, you need to get whatever the transforms you are having denominator as omega square plus a square. Yes, you are having one of the transform as 2a by omega square plus a square. For which signal you are having this type of transform. So, for e power minus a modulus of t, e power minus a modulus of t signal, you are having Fourier transform like this. So, I want to compare my transform with this and I want to trace my signal. So, I want to compare my transform with this. I am having omega square plus a square form. I can write th 3 square this 9. I can write like 3 square and this 12 in the form of 2a means. So, in the form of a I written 3. So, 2a means. So, here. So, you need to take 2 into 3 6. 2 into 3 you need to take 2 into 3 as 6. Remaining how much you are having? So, I am writing 2 into 2 into 3. This 12 I am writing 2 into 2 into 3 to write in the form of 2a as we consider a as 3. Here I am considering 2 into 3 as 2a. So, here I am writing like this del of t plus inverse Fourier transform of 2 into 2 into 3 divided by omega square plus 3 square. Now, you can see this is equal to 12 divided by omega square plus 9 only. But to compare with this equation and to get this signal, I want to write like this. So, now I can apply this formula. I can apply this Fourier transform pair equation. That means, I need to trace this signal. So, here del of t 
plus inverse Fourier transform of this means this is a constant you can write outside and inverse Fourier transform of remaining thing is e power minus a in place of a you are having 3 modulus of t. So, this is inverse Fourier transform of omega square plus 21 by omega square plus 9 that means for this signal if you consider Fourier transform you will get this. For this transform if you consider inverse Fourier transform you are going to get the signal actual signal from where you got the transform. So, this is the signal if you take in Fourier transform for this you are going to get this like this you need to trace inverse Fourier transform of any signal.